What is the beam wing in F1? Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about the beam wing in F1 cars. The start of the 2022 Formula 1 season noticed a principal overhaul in the aerodynamic rules. In what was once described as a new generation for Formula 1, these rule adjustments have been added in to enhance the racing for the followers and the teams, and one component added lower back into F1 is what is acknowledged as the beam wing. The beam wing on an F1 car is a small wing at the return of the vehicle underneath the fundamental rear wing, designed to push dirty air up and over the auto behind. This is designed to enable them to produce cleaner air for the vehicle, making the cars more straightforward to observe and overtake during a race. The beam wing has an essential job in contemporary Formula One cars. Besides producing cleaner air for the automobile behind, the beam wing is quintessential for rear downforce and permitting the diffuser to do its job correctly. Below, we'll talk about the beam wing in F1 and why it's used. Why is dirty air bad for Formula One cars? Dirty air off the lower back of a Formula One car can affect a trailing car up to three or four seconds behind. When the following vehicle is inside this range, they lose downforce and grip, making them slower than the vehicle in front. Drivers want to be quicker than the auto in the show to be capable of overtaking, and dirty air inhibits overtaking. Another impact of dirty air is that vehicles start warfare to keep their temperatures down. Formula One cars are cautiously constructed to acquire oncoming air to cool the brakes and the engines. However, with warm and turbulent air coming off the automobile in front, the trailing vehicle can hostilities to get adequate cool air into the seed pods and different air intakes, developing overheating issues. When was the beam wing first used in F1? The beam wing used to be first used in F1 in the 1970s. However, it did now not constantly serve the very reason it does today. The beam wing was once first introduced by way of Renault and Brabham to funnel air onto the rear wing to produce greater downforce. The beam wing, thought was once, gradually gained traction throughout the relaxation of the grid. However, as groups started to apprehend the floor impact better, Different groups commenced forcing the beam wing graph into their automobiles to assist with rear downforce. Despite ground impact being banned from recreation in the early 1980s, the beam wing remained on the vehicles as a structure of structural support. However, the beam wing nevertheless helped the cars produce higher rear downforce, making the vehicles quicker in the corners. In 2014, the beam wing used to be banned from Formula One. This was once, in the end, accomplished to minimize rear downforce on the automobiles and enhance the racing. In its place, the groups should alternatively use two vertical beams to help their rear wing, as these would no longer have any advantage to the rear downforce generated through the car. The T-wing seemed in 2017, however, was once unique from the beam wing. 2022 Rule Changes for Cleaner Air the purpose of the 2022 rule modifications is to make the motors simpler to observe and permit extra overtaking all through the race by designing the cars to produce cleaner air in their wake. This required a primary aerodynamic overhaul, which protected the addition of the beam wing. The vehicles now use flooring and floor results to produce downforce as an alternative to simply overbody downforce. But overbody airflow manipulation is nonetheless vital, and that's why the beam wing was once reintroduced. This kicks the dirty air up and over the vehicle behind, with the air without delay in the back of the cars now left, cleaner, than before. This affects much less downforce loss when the vehicles are a few seconds in the back of one another, which is enormous on the preceding generations of cars. So, whilst using the ground effect performs a massive function in decreasing the filthy air, the beam wing is also a very beneficial component. What does the beam wing do in F1? The beam wing on an F1 car is designed to assist the auto in producing greater downforce and deflecting a lot of the filthy air up and over the cars behind. The beam wing sits under the prominent rear wing on both aspects of the exhaust, performing nearly like an extension of the diffuser. The beam wing sits nearly without delay below the predominant rear wing of an F1 car, with every factor sitting on both facets of the exhaust pipe at the car's return. In this capacity, the beam wing on a current F1 vehicle performs no position in directing air from the exhaust itself or onto the rear wing to decorate downforce. Air flowing over the beam wing will lead to some downforce generation. However, the vital downforce feature acts as an extension of the F1 car's diffuser at the again of the vehicle. The beam wing helps create a vicinity of low strain at the top of the diffuser, helping suck extra air below the car, boosting downforce via the floor effect 
and making the diffuser different and effective. But the air that flows over the relaxation of the car, from the front wing and the seed pods to the beam wing, is also deflected up and, ideally, over the automobiles behind. This turbulent soiled air is much less likely to intervene with the trailing car's downforce components, ideally making it less complicated to observe every difference and grant extra overtaking opportunities. The beam wing on an F1 car helps the auto produce greater downforce. However, it additionally deflects the dirty air produced with the aid of the car's over physique downforce, having elements up and over the car behind, which approves the trailing vehicle to produce extra downforce when they are following carefully back. Hope you guys like this video, let us know in the comment below, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. See you in the next video.